carefully do you listen? How well do you follow directions? Today, we're going to be starting some listening and following direction activities, which should be a lot of fun. Get out your listening ears. First, I want you to start by dividing square number one into four triangles by drawing two straight lines that touch the corners. Again, I want you to start by drawing, uh, dividing the square into four triangles by drawing two straight lines that touch the corners. In squ inside square two, I want you to draw the biggest circle you can without touching the sides. Your circle doesn't have to be perfect, just do the best you can. In square three, I want you to write your name upside down. Now do whatever you like to make square number four look like the front of a house. Draw a circle in the bottom half of square five. Draw a line all the way across square number six about halfway up. Now go back to square number two and turn your circle into a happy jack-o'-lantern. Turn your circle in square five into a snowman by adding two more circles and a face on the top. That line in square six is really an ocean. Draw a sailboat, please. Add six more lines to square number one to make an interesting design. And finally, since you got this far, put a star by your upside down name 